Hey everyone, today I'm excited to share all the learnings of a unique experience I had last month. And especially the last one of the learnings I will share today was a real breakthrough for me as a game developer. But what happened? Last month I took on a crazy challenge to create a video game from scratch in just 28 days. The game? Penguins, a shoot 'em up game where you shoot at penguins inspired by games like Crazy Chicken and Ape Escape. The idea was simple but frightening. Develop penguins in 4 weeks and document my progress daily. And here's how it all started. Even though I started with Game Dev last August, I have never created a complete game from start to finish. So I knew this would be quite a challenge. I kicked off with a to-do list and visualized each step in my head. Going through all the development process by visualizing it helped me to define most of the steps that I needed to take in the right order. This to-do list was helpful throughout the whole development process and was something I knew from my experience as a web developer. It helped me to have a guide and an overview of how much still needed to be done, even when new tasks come up along the way. So the first learning for you should be, start a game with pen and paper. Write down your idea and the specific steps you need to take to bring this idea to life. This will help you throughout the process and bring light to your path. So I started to working on my to-do list. My initial steps included setting up the project in Unity, connecting it with the Plastic SEM as my version control system to back up my changes, and starting with a simple start screen scene. Creating the basic game mechanics was like solving a puzzle. I had my task, searched for a solution and implemented it into my project. Player movements, spawning targets and getting the penguins to move every day brought a new challenge and I shared every step and every setback with you. I also downloaded my first assets from the Unity Asset Store and was amazed at how much good stuff you can get for free. My crosshairs, for example, were just picked out of the 25 plus free crosshairs pack by Oka Software, who reached out to me as a sponsor of this video. Oka Software is a favorite among indie developers and for good reason. They have some awesome asset packs for Volumetric Fork, Cloud Shadows, Ballistics, a Toon Shader Kit and over 30 other assets for your next project. You can buy these packages from the Unity Asset Store with a one-time payment or get access to all the assets with a monthly subscription from their website, which costs only $5 per month to get access to over 30 assets, a pro material library, premium source code, a VFX library and support via email and Discord. Aka Software helped me and my project with their free crosshair package and I'm sure we'll be using their assets in the future. So check them out and maybe they can also help you with your next project. A link is in the video description. By day 12 my game was starting to take shape, but designing the 3D penguin models was a test of my patience, especially with my non-existent 3D modeling experience. After 5 long hours of learning Blender, starting with my 3D model, starting over because I made mistakes and many failures, I had nothing. The model didn't work in Unity and I felt exhausted at this point. But a strict deadline kept me from going from this point and at least I already learned how it shouldn't be done. So I started over with a new model in Blender and after another session of 7 hours, I finally got that stupid penguin at 2am in the morning. At this moment I learned the power of persistence and the motivation of a strict deadline. And I'm still sure it would have taken me 2 or 3 days to get this result if I hadn't set my timeline to 28 days. Which led me to a new learning that I would apply to my next project. Make a tight schedule to finish your game. Even if you end up with something that is not perfectly finished, you will end up with a lot more results if your schedule is tight. As the deadline approached, the world of the game expanded. I added unique penguins, developed a scoring system by adding a server backend using Unity Gaming Services and even played a kazoo to create a unique game music and matching sound effects. And each element brought penguins closer to life. So this journey wasn't just about making a game. It was a constant lesson in problem solving and creativity. I learned that unfamiliar subjects like 3D modeling or sound design weren't barriers but opportunities to grow as a game dev. At the end I realized that publishing your first game on platforms like Steam or the Google Play Store does take a bit more than 28 days. But even if I could launch on major platforms like Steam within the 28 day window, I was able to publish my first game on itch.io even if no one played it. That experience taught me the value of starting small and learning fast to build up your experience with each success. And even though many other game devs give this advice to beginners, it is something I had always overlooked. 
that it's true. Start game dev with small ideas. This isn't just one of many good tips for beginners, it's the most important. I could have learned so much more in the first few months of my game dev journey if I hadn't overlooked this and started with a small game idea instead of a big dream game dev project. So what is my next step? I'll be making more small games in 4-6 to six week sprints to develop my skills as a game developer and gain experience from start to finish of the game development process. And to all aspiring game developers out there, remember, the best way to learn is by doing. So start small, dream big and keep creating. That's it, thank you for following my 28 day game development journey. If you're curious about penguins, head over to itch.io to check it out and play it in your browser for free. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.